Welcome back to Let's Play The Signal, the DLC chapter for Alan Wake. Again! I'm Burning Dog Face. And uh, we're down here beneath the church of Bright Falls. I don't remember the actual name of the building, but... A whole fucking bunch of Taken are going to jump me in there, and I'm not looking forward to it, quite frankly. <laughs> it's like there's also a clock in there somewhere. Uh... Ah, here it is. Shout out to Elfwar, who had an interesting thought. Uh... My guess, as to the darkness's limits, are that it needs a writer to give it the ability. After which, then, it has it freely. Alan... Yeah, that's a bit confusing, so... Alan granted it the ability to, say, throw things with a vague limit and force, you know, the page we found about the, uh, the poltergeists, and fortunately not great aim, since it missed. So now it just has the power to do that whenever it wants, on whatever scale it wants. I'd guess that the Darkness plans, after killing Alan, to get another writer to produce a sequel to continue its expansion. So I'd say it has some limits, but they are narrative-based rather than mechanical. I, I find that very interesting. Trapped by its own, the nature of its own reality, its limitations are narrative-based. What, what it has been written to be weak from, you know, it's not some inherent quality of a fucking flashlight, it's weak against the light because it's weak against the light. There's also some more here. In Final Fantasy 3, if the light overtook and everything, it would just purge and cleanse the entire world, erasing life and any sort of elementally uh, as aspected material. This was described more in Final Fantasy 14 scourging the world and leaving it empty as it produced complete stagnation. I'm not sure that's a one-to-one -one here, because again, both the light and the darkness seem to have elements of, you know, creation and destruction in them. I didn't even know there was one there. But yeah. Also, in terms of prohibition, it is completely repealed in Washington State, though there are some areas that still have local prohibition in the United States, mostly in Texas, the Rust Belt, Kansas, and the Southeast. On the other hand, I can completely see there being a local moonshine uh, operation, or maybe a paintball tournament taking place in that ghost town. Yeah, the one I found where the, uh, the water tower kept falling over. But I've been babbling on, so... Thanks for playing, bitches! Oh boy! Yes! I made him back up into the fire! Oh! Oh, fuck! Back off! Oh, fuck, he didn't back off at all! Move! I don't think they can perceive the light. Fuck. They're on the other side of this wall, I can hear it. No! No, that's not gonna work, this is! Oh, my organs. Oh fuck, I'm on completely the wrong side of the room from where I thought I was. Found the clock though, so that's nice. Uh, 
that's three. Actually, I can just check that, can't I? It's lost in the strangely warped church basement. Wake must find his way out so he can investigate the flare. Ah, oh, that's right, we're investigating the memory of Barry. I have no idea how that's going to work. Okay, yes, three out of ten alarm clocks found. Okay, so there's the entrance, so why is climb over here if it's supposed to be over there? It's not in that corner of the room. Why did I think it was? That's very strange. <laughs> oh! Oh, right, the words themselves qualify, I forgot. As, uh, shadowy objects. I guess it is technically a manifestation of the Dark Presence's power, so... You know, I'll allow it. I'm gonna go trigger that, uh, climb... thing. I'm pretty sure that will make a ladder. So I can see if that triggers more dudes to appear. You know, before I destroy the thing. I'm gonna be really, really annoyed if I went this far after all this time and, uh, climb automatically kicks me to the next zone. Ladder! Okay, this is gonna take a while. You know what? In fact, it would take a while, so I'm going to check. Hey guys, Future BDF here. There's a question I forgot to ask during this session, so I thought I'd just shove it into a jump cut somewhere. And that is that, uh... If the remastered Alan Wake is the same as the original Alan Wake, uh, the campaign and both DLCs will end with the same credit roll. You know, the one with, uh, uh, David Bowie playing over it. And, uh... I was planning on skipping it at the end of uh, The Signal and The Writer, but I could let it play if you guys would prefer that. So uh, let me know in the comments uh, which you know, you'd like to see. Because if you'd like to see the, com the credits again, I would absolutely be willing to do that. Uh, it's just something I'm going to have to hear. Alright, back to whatever I was doing. Okay, it's there. There's also an achievement for, uh... ...beating the signal from start to finish without ever loading or uh, having to reload. It's called Run-On Sentence. A har har har. Yeah, what I meant by them not being able to perceive the light is they flinch when I point the light at them. And they, you know, well, they die if they touch the, like, the save point, like, uh, spots. But they seem completely oblivious to things like this and the, uh, the hanging electrical cables. They just walk straight into them. What the fuck? Crystals? Oh no, that's just burnt wood. Huh. Yeah, but when this flame is going on, they'll just walk straight into it. I don't think they can see it if it's just light. There's no physical form to fire. No way I was close enough for that to hit me. What just happened? Nice. Look at him go! <laughs> G 
chain reactions. Someone out there had been very patiently waiting for me to reload. I apologize for taking so long. Oh, I didn't actually use it. Nice. Even standing this far, just imagine the heat wash you would have been able to feel just now. smells really nicely of, like, you know, wood smoke. I say it smells nicely. Of course, that, this much smoke would be stinging your eyes by now. Inspired this. Nothing like this happened in, you know, the actual game of Alan Wake. So Alan must have experience with uh, ovens uh, blasting out flames from somewhere else. Riveting content. See, I wouldn't have been surprised if that one had hurt me. I like that it takes a second before the smoke comes out. I don't know why. I just like that. It's one of my few conscious regrets that I had for the DLC in this game, not getting something as straightforward as this. Okay, following the wall. No, wait. Okay, I know I went around that corner. Of course, there are islands here. That is an issue. Oh, fuck! Efficient. And you. Piles of coal on the floor are a nice touch. Notice sometimes it gives me achievements without, you know, telling me that I have earned an achievement. Hmm. What if I 
just click off and on again. No, that doesn't seem to be the case. Crap. Words will never harm you. Special one, trigger all of the furnaces in the basement. Uh, wait. Why is it called that? They didn't, like, shove one in the ceiling as a joke, did they? Damn it! All right, jump cut. Okay. It's no good. I have searched every inch of this room and I am confident that there are no more ovens, or furnaces, even. They all have their doors blown open. Even the ones where the doors are round instead of square for some reason. So, my only hope is that there's more fucking uh, furnaces up there, and we're somehow still in the basement. Because otherwise, Decade later, and I couldn't get the achievement even when I tried for it. Thanks, Epic! Did I get disconnected or something? to see whether there is a door on this door. Zane left me a page. He was trying to help me. Okay. All right, I hit the checkpoint. That's what I was trying to think of. So if I get out here... Looking for it to tell me whether or not I'm connected to, you know, Epic Store. Huh. Damn. I'm gonna try quitting and starting the game again. Okay, as we're online here, and, uh... I don't know. Aha! It did unlock! I just needed to quit and get back in. Words will never harm you, achievement unlocked. Special one triggered all of the furnaces in the basement. Who says dreams don't come true? Yes, Thomas Zane's manuscript page. Sorry, I didn't mean to derail things quite as badly as that. Oh! Bestseller, friend, wall, tremor, scream. I can't read that page, it's it's just a bunch of words. Okay, perfect. Perfect! Seeing a flare being fired into the sky behind the church, Wake investigates. He discovers a manuscript left for him by Thomas Zane. That's a concept. I guess concepts can be, uh, you know, encapsulated in words. All right, let's get this one done in a... Uh-oh. Okay, for a second there, I thought I ended the world. <laughs> Christ! All right, let's do this. This is probably going to be a jump scare, so I'm just going to, you know, tense up and, uh, you know, get her done. <laughs> yeah, that's what it said. That's, that's what it did, all right. 
I remember that scream. That was the noise Alice made when she was actually yanked into the lake. Is this just gonna be me? Is this the other me? Ah. Uh, can I read this one? No? What the hell? Oh, it's just cheap cardboard, okay. Or it's dirty. Thanks, Tom. I'm... sure I'll treasure this always. No. Why did he think I would need these things? An earthquake? A picture of me? A traumatic scream? Well, there is one left. But, uh... The timer has gone. Yeah, this place sucks. Fuck. All this screaming in the distance. At least we know it's definitely not real people dying this time. It was kind of ambiguous in the main game. You know, since... I think the only real people here are me and Tom, and I'm not sure about Tom. I don't know that he's a person anymore, not that he's not real. I think he might just be the light presence at this point. But! Before we get that last word, I'll just call it. I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake. Or, no, rather, Let's Play The Signal, the DLC chapter for Alan Wake. Again. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get more accomplished. Find our way through the dark place. And find out exactly what Thomas Zane means by friend. Till then, stay in the light.